HR technologies, such as the use of artificial intelligence to accomplish work-related tasks, are modernizing the profession. With the widespread goal to boost diversity in the workplace, a variety of AI software has been developed to aid in blind recruiting. Humans often have unconscious biases when hiring, whether it be to race, gender, even alma mater, amongst many other factors. We spoke with some Toronto-based AI recruitment tech companies about equal opportunity hiring and the emerging technology that goes along with it. Here's what Maz Rana, co-founder and COO of Nokri and Gia Min, data scientist at Ideal, had to say. How we've built it out is to ensure that it helps mitigate bias. So when it's taking a look at uh, a candidate, for example, through video and it's analyzing their verbal and nonverbal communication skills, it's blind to their ethnicity, their race, um, their gender, as well as like their sexuality, for example, or even their appearance. We use machine learning to screen resumes and um, in our chatbot technology to uh, interact with um, candidates for pre-qualification. So one of the ways um, technology like Ideal can reduce unconscious bias is that we know from research that there's a lot of assumptions or stereotypes that get triggered when you read someone's name on a resume. So what you can do if you use something like Ideal is that you can program the, the, the technology to ignore demographic information. We do know from actually research that was conducted at the University of Toronto that um, what they did is they created two types of uh, resumes. So they had people use their actual names um, and then they used what they called a, a whitened version of their name. So if you were Asian um, and used a, a, a whitened version of your name, you were 75% more likely to get an interview. If you were um, a black candidate and used a whitened version of na your name, you were 160% more likely to get an interview. So we know that these biases are you know, probably leading to discrimination um, at the hiring phase, even if they're unconscious. AI in hiring is in its early adoption phase. One of the things that people are afraid of is that it can start replicating or uh, an existing bias. So AI does require um, a lot of historical data to learn how to make decisions. Um, so if that historical data is has some kind of bias, the AI could actually start replicating it. Um, so the best way to overcome this, of course, is to make sure you are um, have people who understand these biases and basically subject matter experts who can monitor your data, monitor your data, monitor your models, and monitor your outcome. We charge them per candidate. It depends on like the type of job role it is and things like that. But it's priced pretty economically in terms of uh, helping them mitigate their cost and time to fill that they normally have with their current processes because we want to save them money and time. We should definitely arm ourselves with as many tools as we can in terms of overcoming this problem but you know we can't just think one thing will solve everything it's uh, it's going to be many many things that will uh, need to come together. Blind hiring is not the end-all be-all it definitely does help and it makes a huge impact. Signing off, for Canadian HR Reporter, I'm Alexia Kapralos.